Hello, and welcome to my kitchen. Today, we have a cooking challenge. We're gonna be making gingerbread cookies. Green has chosen a recipe for me. It is in Korean. So, the challenge for me today is to try and follow this recipe and make excellent, tasty gingerbread cookies without speaking the language of the recipe that I'm following. I am allowed to use a dictionary, but I can't throw this thing into a translator. Fortunately, I can read a little bit of Korean. I know how it sounds. So to start, we have muyom boda, which is butter. Huk sol tang, and I don't know what that is. Dal gyol, and then it's one ge. What's what's one of anything? This is probably an egg. Banida exudek. That's vanilla extract. Let's make syrup. Ku ku. No idea. Ba lio bun. I'm not sure. Sengang garu. Is that salt? Shina mon. That's cinnamon powder. Baking soda. Oh, powdered sugar. Dal gyal huin cha. It's possible this is egg, and this one here is egg white. Lemon. Oh, that's lemon, lemon juice. Uyu, by process of elimination. And also this sounds familiar. I think this is milk. So good. Dui. It's also used. Oh, there's so good. And so good. So so good ingredients. So I went and had a mild nervous breakdown. And then I looked up a bunch of words in the dictionary. And now I've got a pretty good idea of what's going on here. And I've also gone and gathered all of the ingredients I'm going to need, except for the uh, icing. So I'm just going to start to put them together. So one of the words I looked up, it said something like smooth. And I don't know if that meant like soften, like soften the butter, or maybe they mean just mix them until they're smooth. That's the challenge of following a recipe in a language that you don't need. And now I need to, to add the egg, maple syrup, honey, vanilla extract. Oh, it smells really good. And now I need the flour, 300. It's gonna be like about one more scoop after this. Ginger, cinnamon powder, and baking soda. It does smell like cookies, that's a good sign. I'm gonna take this beautiful dough, I'm gonna flatten it on this, I'm gonna put it in the fridge for it to chill. I've got a little tree, I've got a little gingerbread man, and the dough should be ready. So it's actually a little bit harder now. So I think that's why you chill it. this little milk in my life. One, two, three. I was a little skeptical, but this does seem to be making icing. Okay, these look good. These look really good. So what I'm doing here is I'm gonna put the icing in this bag so that I can easily apply it to the cookies. that, I have a tool for putting icing on cookies. <laughs> I 
the hole is way too big, so I can't make faces. <laughs> These are awful. Oh my gosh. I'm so bad at this part. <laughs> okay. I think the cookies turned out okay. I think the icing turned out okay. I think my ability to put icing accurately on the cookies is nowhere near where it needs to be. <laughs> I pulled his head off. I'm gonna taste it. You know what? They're not bad. All right. So, um, thank you for watching me make these horrifying cookies. Merry Christmas, everyone. It turns out you can follow a recipe without speaking the language that it's written in. Thanks for watching.